interesting. Lakers. I know Tom would really and Terry were excited about talking about LeBron and Lakers this morning. Here's my comment before you guys go. And Zach kind of alluded to it a little bit about how well, does he destroy teams, blah, 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 as far as every four years. Here's the th- thing with that, though, is that I don't not necessarily he destroys them, is that it is the way they, they get in the cap situations right. and draft pick. And then he leaves. Everything. But again, he always has to have a perfect situation to succeed. Like, there's no. There's no like, hey, I'm overcoming this. He thinks winning a championship, Tom, is the great that what he specifically says and repeats over and over. Winning a championship in Cleveland makes me the goat. He thinks that's the hardest thing that's ever been done in the NBA, and that's the only thing Chicago that ever Chicago was horrible one. Is again, Jordan he don't, came even, there. he don't get that. He does has no. He don't even has no idea. Chicago was awful, awful, and he thinks that that is a higher achievement than anything. And I don't get what that, what even that means. You're just wearing laundry. You're wearing a Jersey that says Cleveland. Why does that make it harder? You had the best, you had good players. Was Kyrie Irving on that team? That's what I'm Kyle was uh, Kevin Love Kevin on that uh, team? Yeah. So, I mean, you could start uh, naming players who again, helped him. Every time he's had two really good players, if not all stars that make, can make shots. LA, we miss the playoffs. We win the championship bubble. We lose in the first round. Cause we made the, 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 we added we added a play in tournament so I could make the playoffs, and then now we missed the playoffs again. So the perfect situation for him to win the championship this time was no fans. Anthony Davis got three months off to come in healthy to a basketball tournament, not to a season inside of a, inside the bubble. So again, let's see one championship you had Kyrie saving him, the other championship Ray, Ray Allen saving him, and they beat the Thunder. And the baby thunder, however you want to look at them. But every situation has, has had to have been a perfect situation. I mean, you had D. Wade, you could argue, was probably the best player on that team, that first championship. And Chris Bosch is there. So every time. So now Terry's on this team, and we talked about this when they got together, especially this year. There's no there's no good mix of – there's no shooters. There's no other scores. So, like, LeBron's game is – Bring the defense to me. If I can get bomb, I'm going to lay it up. If not, I'm going to kick it to one of the one of the guys that can shoot and score. Russell Westbrook's not a shooter. Anthony Davis is not really a catch and shoot a, a shooter like that. They have nobody that he can just dish and get the ball and and, and score on the wing. Or and you got an old Carmelo Anthony, right? So you got all these old guys. So looking at that, you can sit there and say, "There's no way their their mix is going to win in, in, at all." And we some of us alluded to that. We said six. I think we most of us predicted like six, seven, eight, see. But now they're not even in the playoffs. And you, people are like, well, they missed all these games. Jamal Murray didn't play for the Nuggets. They made the playoffs. Kawhi Leonard didn't play for the Clippers. They're 40 and 40. Same city. And, and the biggest thing was this year, you know, everybody said, oh, he didn't have any help. But he was the leading scorer on the team. You know, he's not he's not having a down year as, as you know, the no, way not he is. At he's, all. He's, he's, he's been injured a little bit. but 11 and 29 on the road this year with the Lakers. Uh, and another thing, too, you have to understand that uh, they showed a stat that when LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Westbrook all play, they're 11 and 10. So 21 games is all them guys played with each other all year long. And they were just barely over 500. Yeah. You know, so they never had camaraderie out on the court with each other because nobody never was there. It was always somebody hurt. So if so, they would have stayed know. together and we, we, we multiply that out, they would have been possibly the seven race. Yeah, they well, would have been in the playoffs. You know, you mentioned Michael earlier and one difference. I, I, I was watching a game the other night, uh, and one thing about – so here's – if Kevin Durant has the ball and Steph Curry has the ball, I don't want to give them any room whatsoever to shoot, right? If LeBron has the ball, is that the same case? Not uh, yeah, I mean you'd rather him not drive and get an and one. Well, here or, here's or, your deal with him. He can shoot to three. He can a hundred percent. You know, LeBron can shoot, but what I mean by that, he's not so dead. He's no, Allen he's... Iverson shooter where he gets hot, he's going to yeah. kill us. He's not if he touches the ball, it's going in like Clay Thompson or Steph Curry. That's what I'm saying. Durant, if he touch it, they shoot it, it's going in. So what I'm saying from a defensive perspective, Terry, you're guarding them, so you know LeBron. You're like. If he shoots, I'd rather him shoot a three than than, than do other something else, right? Mm-hmm. Westbrook, I ain't got to worry about the three. Anthony well, Davis, me. I'd I'm rather him be out there shooting. Yeah, me too. So, I would let so both of them So there's three of the shoot. five. You don't even care if they take a jumper. 
for the most part. That's what you would want defensively. So mm-hmm. all you gotta do is guard two other guys from hitting yeah. threes. And so guarding them in that in that way, I, I just never thought that would work. They ain't got the firepower. So they're out. Um <laughs> some people yeah. say is it a success That's or fun. failure uh in LA championship. Tom, you got one in Cleveland. I weigh those completely different as far you know, I know he does too, but you know, LA you're expected to be successful every year. Winning one championship and missing three in Cleveland, like he said, would probably be well, a success. Well, well he sees but in LA, you gotta compete every year, right? Yeah, he sees he sees snapping the Cleveland jinx as his, you know, claim to fame because the city hadn't had a championship in all, right. you know. The what the guys say, well, guys don't want to go there, players don't want to play there, blah, blah, blah. But you made a good point. Well, yeah, you know, you forgot you forgot J.R. Smith was still playing very well. Yeah. Maybe at that come. time, too, even though he kind of faulted off after that. So there were a lot of good players. The Ilgoskis was still playing on that Il-Gaskis team. Ilgoskis was an all-star. Yeah. Ilgoskis was there. All-star. Love was there. Irvin was there. So, I mean, they had a lot of pieces oh, yes. there uh, around him. So it wasn't like the old, well, it's 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 a dying Midwestern city. Nobody wants to go there. They all want to go to, you know, like Odell Beckham. Get me out of Cleveland so I can go back and but sit on the beach But why would you say LA. that? I mean, why would you come out and say something like that when you had because, the stars that you had be, with you? Because, he's, be, because he makes his own reality. It's the star worship we have in this country. It's just star. It's, it's like Terry, people it's ridiculous. Think it's ridiculous. The, the way that they have framed all this, people believe that Scottie Pippen is so much greater than he really is, and I, I and but just to, just to be able to try to tear down. Mike went uplift, and, and then and this what this generation don't get is the very next generation. As soon as LeBron retires, they're going to do the same thing to the next guy. Is it, is this the best thing? The, the TV guys think about this. ESPN and Fox can't come out and say, "Hey guys, come watch the twenty fifth best season we've ever had in baseball history." Can NASCARs come out and say, "Yes, this is not as good as nineteen eighty six, but come watch this anyway." They have to promote year after yeah. year after year after year. These guys are the watching. best ever. This is the best athletes. They're faster, bigger, stronger. They're this, 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 and that. Scotty Pippen, for example, for all these people with, that, that want to put him as how great he is, he was a great defender and a facilitator of the basketball. In the championship seasons, okay, with Chicago, he averaged 20 points two of the six years. Yeah, I was thinking if I was if I was guessing he would average like sixteen, Two seven, and seven. Of the six years, he averaged twenty points. In his career, he only averaged twenty four times in his whole career. Two of those were the two that Jordan was gone. So Pippen was given points, but it's not like he's throwing twenty five. He's not throwing in like you know when Kyrie helps, he throws in twenty five, or Steph Curry or Clay that's twenty five or 30. Pippen's throwing. 15 to 20 points every night. 20, 25, he has a good night. It's not even It's not even like he's dominant, dominating scoring like that. So it, it, there's a different reality in what some of these guys think about the past, Tom. So, so, so they'll say, well, he had help, so I've got to have help too. So I've got D-Wade. Well, well, let's look over to Dwayne Wade. What did Dwayne Wade score while they were winning championships? Dwayne Wade. It's actually an awesome website, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, that's all. Oh, that's basketball awesome. reference is good. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know how to spell Dwayne Wade's name. We'll go Dwayne. It's a Y E yeah. N. There it is. So you go Dwayne Wade's name. All right, championships. Anybody remember what years they were? I think it was 06, wasn't it? 06? 05, 06? Uh, you talking well, about for, with, we talking about Shaq this, or we talking about with LeBron? Well, with LeBron. Uh, I want to say it was like. 11, 12. Well, put it this 10, way. 10, 11, 12 when they were. Um, I'm looking at it right now. The first 11 year, 9, 10, 11 years of his career, he averaged over 20, and he did that two years later. So 13 years, Wade, Wade averaged over 20. Scottie Pippen did it four times. So that's the difference when, I'm talking, when we're talking about the help LeBron actually had. He had all-time scoring help of Dwayne Wade and Kyrie Irving. And and Michael had a seventeen point score. Did he average thirty? He averaged thirty. Yeah, he was he was. Uh, wow. That was right before that was right before LeBron came, I mm-hmm. believe. That's when they had Bosch, him and oh, yeah. LeBron. Yeah, Who else did they have? They had a couple other guys. Uh, Ray, Ray Allen, Allen yeah. hit yeah. the hit the shot against yeah. the Spurs. Um, I mean, what a fourth man you've got in Ray, Ray Allen. Yeah. Let's throw Ray Allen, the, the, you know, so, a ball so, out. On the, so here's a here's a quick board. I like I like Wayne. this one, Tom. You like this? Uh, if you're in the graphs, if I can pull it up. Bosch was the loser in all that. You, stuff, to, uh, you, you probably can't read online. I, I even if I pull it up there, you won't be able to see it. But all right, so this is 
most seasons scoring 30 points per game. Right? You got me? Follow me. Mm -hmm. Jordan with eight. Chamberlain, seven. Oscar Robertson, six. Then Iverson, Dantley, and Jerry West with a four. Harden, Durant, LeBron, Kobe, all these scoring heroes three times in their career. Remember, I thought it was more points. More, we we're all shooting all these threes, and it has not led to more points on the on the big end of it. Still, 30 points a game. Durant, James, Kobe, and Harden only did it three times. That's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the all-time leading scorer, did it three times. Curry's done it twice. Bill, Dominique, uh, Iceman, Gervin, Rick Barry, and one time Embiid, Westbrook, Wade, and McGrady, Jordan, eight Chamberlain seven. You got to be a man to average thirty points a Absolutely. game in the, you NBA. Do. in the NBA, and for your career, yeah. six career, yeah. he's six. Feet and, six. and me and Kevin are are, are, are <laughs> our belief. Our belief is this: that he he people he he left because he that's what he wanted to carry out was the thirty point average yeah. for his career. I believe that's why he cut it off. He wanted the all time. Like like I said, I'm six nine. The all time lean. They, when they say the all time lean score, so he just passed Carl Malone, Terry, and he and he, and they, he had five hundred more shots than Malone. Now, what I will say about LeBron, I'm going to see what you guys, if Stockton and Malone were DNA put together, that's who I believe LeBron is and has been, is that if they, you take all the attributes of John Stockton, his passing and shooting, and then all the, the, the physical skills of, of Carl Malone and his, and his shooting as well, I think I've, you, you've got LeBron James. So they had a baby. That's my, 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 my theory. David Falk spliced him. What do you think, Tom? No. Not a bad theory. I mean, <laughs> you've got the power of Malone and the skill of Stockton. You know, that that makes, that makes sense. All right, uh, so here's the uh, – you was talking about champions. Uh, what year was it? Uh, did, 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 did. Miami Heat over Dallas – no, Dallas oh, Mavericks and Heat was uh, – oh, 05 was uh, the Shaq yeah. one. And then, uh, Tom, it was what, 13, 12 and 13. With the, were the two years with with Miami, so all starts running together once you get older. So yeah, yeah, Dwight, yeah, right. Yeah. So Wade, Wade averaged twenty in both twenty two and twenty one in both of those yeah. years. So so that there's your championship years. Is you, you got your twenty point score. So it, it's you know you, everybody it, always like to say he didn't have well, what I'm saying is about Le, you're right. Is Le, LeBron has seven All Stars has played for him, played with him, has made the team on his team and made the All Star team, and he's probably had uh, so. And, and Michael had one, which is Scott. All right, NBA standings, he's done. Let's get rid of the Lakers, Zach. Yep. Kick yeah, he's out. done. All right, yeah. playing game. Uh, right now, Pelicans and Spurs will play to play the winner of Timberwolves and Clippers. Uh, Anthony Edwards going off the other night. Uh, Nuggets, Jokic is MVP front runner. they say. Uh, Utah uh, in the five seed. Mavericks in the four. Donkic may have be suspended again for his 16th tech time for whining at officials. He's there terrible. You go. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> He's just a terrible, terrible. Uh, then you've got, uh, if he would just say it in Slo what, one of whatever language, I think he's Slovenian, he, or whatever language he speaks, <laughs> they wouldn't even know it. But I guess he's, he just gives, wants to get a technical. Golden State in third, Memphis two, Phoenix one. Terry, who you got coming out of the West right now? Phoenix. Yeah, Memphis, I think I give them a run because they're up and coming, but I don't think they can, well, with Chris Paul running their offense, they'll not be able to handle Phoenix. All right, Golden State got a run or not? Do they? Terry? No, myself? Yeah. Uh, they started off like a bang. I don't think that the Clay Thompson's fit in like they thought he would because ever since he's come in, I think they found a tailwind to the back a little bit. Well, in third, not bad. But, uh, you know, they're on the verge of going to fourth. So they've never, once he stepped back in, been elite like they were without him. Mm. And I don't know whether that takes a year for that to come back the way it should be or you've took somebody out to put him in and it's all changed, and that might be the problem. All right, my theory on Clay, um, he's always been a catch-and-shoot player, right? He's, he's never been a, I'm driving by people and pulling up and shoot. It's always been catch-and-shoot. What, he had that 50, whatever 50-point 50 game yeah. he, only, he took like so, – like uh, yeah, I don't know the number. It might it not even be. It might not have been more than dribbles. five. It's like thirteen dribbles or something. I like get fifty points, but it was stupid. So Terry, part of that game. So if you take his speed away, he's six eight, and part of it was he was one of the best defenders in the league. So if you take any half a step away from him, I agree. Now he's a six eight JJ Redick, and so if he's not catching and not open, 
Maybe he's not elevating on his jumper like he used to. Maybe he's not getting around the corners. Maybe he's not playing defense like he used to be. So, I, I again, when he come, when somebody comes back, like you said, how long does it take to come back? I would I would guess NBA legs. He's got to get the, in the next year. That's right? what I said. He's to got be a, to well, be what he was, or to he start of next shoot. year. Nothing will ever stop him I mean, from being able to catch and shoot like Reddick. But I think they got to play him like Reddick. I mean, he is out for what minutes. a year and a half to two. Yeah, he missed so, two seasons. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. I mean. That's a pretty pretty bad injury. Yeah. And then when you come back in, you, you're you're trying to uh, get your rhythm back. And, and some things, when you put them back in the in the uh, the lineup, it might be forced. Mm-hmm. You know, you're trying to get somebody back in that that hurts too. All right. So the big rumor this week in L.A. Land was uh, Ch- uh, Terry. One other thing was them trade making a trade with the Charlotte Hornets for uh, Russell Westbrook. Was is the rumor that they're trying to dump Westbrook on 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 Charlotte? Well, I don't know if they'll do that. They're or trying not. to get rid of his salary, right. I guess. The good news is it's uh one year he's only got one year left. The bad news is I think it's like forty million dollars, forty something million dollars, and that's not good at well, all. Well, how you gonna do that when you're paying Gordon Haywood like Well he would million. be he would be part of the trade. Oh, okay. It would be Hay- basically Hayward and Rozier for Westbrook and maybe a draft pick or something like well, that. Well now you know if that happens, then it comes down back to the Westbrook show. Like it was at OKC. He'll be the one that's driving and doing everything and having the triple doubles. There will game be, after game. There will be riots in the streets oh, they will if be. they trade Gordon you. Haywood. For they, him. They, they will For just him. riot in Charlotte. <laughs> I don't think nobody would care. Yeah, they do. They love that guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> he could be the mayor of Charlotte. I hate to lose somebody that's that got that uh, personality to gain a guy that has that worse of a personality. Yeah. You know, yeah. a trade off of that, I wouldn't. Well, now touch Westbrook, him with he likes to win. He just got different ways of showing it. He's a jerk. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, so will he the, put butts in seats? Well, do no, you think? that's not well. That well, they don't need to worry about that because they they've got Lamelo to sell hot dogs. What they have <laughs> it's need, the trash. Well, well, if you look at their lineup, so here's where the pundits on TV are getting it wrong. And, and what Tom, will you get it right on Gordon Haywood? Is that what when he's in the lineup they play better? Mm-hmm. Whether he scores twenty or five or twenty points, not one, no matter what, when he's in the lineup they play better. Now the pundits will be like, well, that that's not. It's not helping him. He's he's not not there. Blah blah blah. blah. But if we traded for Westbrook in this situation, it's not like you're you're moving forward with him. Like I said, if you pay him the one year, then the next year you you get forty million dollars for free. Yes, that's what they're. So the Hornets have never been able to pay overpay someone. So this would be the one chance. This would be the the game plan would be Westbrook for a year. He's gone. Now you got a forty million dollar hole to pay whoever you want to play with Lamelo. Somebody's going to come here to play with him. Somebody, one of these young kids with the funny hair, will want to come play with him too and be on it on Instagram. So, and we'll be the nine seed. So, we'll, we might move up a seed. So, that's the strategy. Or they said Russ Westbrook, if they cut him, okay, the Lakers would have to split his. His he, he goes into three years. So, if it's forty million, forty five million, ten to fifteen million dollars a year would go. That's what it would go against them in the cap. And then whoever signed him could sign him for whatever they wanted. So you could sign him league veteran. Or veteran minimum, whatever it is. So the Hornets could go that direction, which would be a decent direction. But that would just be adding to have be a basketball player, not to just take up forty seven million for right. next year. So that wouldn't really help them cap wise. That would be a basketball move. So for them, there would be a trade for uh, they they said Hayward, but w- whatever. Well, anyway, I'll get back to the minute. Let me pull up the numbers on that. Let's go real quick, Zach, to mm-hmm. the East. Charlotte would have to play Atlanta right now mm-hmm. in the play in. Tom, right now you're in the play in. With the Brooklyn Nets, had too many injuries going down. Let's the look at yeah. Nets and Cavs. I know it's a one game series and all this. You don't want to play Durant and and, and Kyrie in a one game shootout. Let's say you lose that game. Matchup: Who would you rather have coming to Cleveland and not have, or how break down the matchups between the Cavs hosting either the Hawks or the Hornets for that eight seed? I definitely want to play the Hornets. <laughs> I don't want to play uh, Trey Young because okay. when he gets hot, I watched I watched one game. I think it was over Christmas break, and we jumped all over Atlanta. And Trey Young just starts coming out, and he just starts hitting everything he throws up. I mean, he's such a streaky shooter. That kid can go out there and have fifty points. And what you talk about in a one game, in a one game, who's got the guy that can have a crazy game and destroy you? Trey Young. Who are the Hornets got that can do that to you? We got one. That, we got one that can shoot twenty five times. It's but random every night you. for Charlotte. Who's going to get the twenty? Yeah. That's what I'm saying yeah. because because one. I don't want I don't want to face Trey Young because if he gets hot, he can that one guy can beat you. 
So that's why I'd much rather play Charlotte, even though I think, I mean, you know, Atlanta's been inconsistent. Charlotte's been inconsistent. Cleveland's been inconsistent. So yeah, I mean, with that said, yeah. before you go any further, real quick, sorry to interrupt, but Hornets on the road have a winning record, 21 and 20. Atlanta is 15 and 25 on the road. So they would yeah. be coming to Cleveland. Does that weigh into any of that? I mean, you know, you, you always have to, it's hard to keep up with every team and see how they would perform. But that, I mean, that's, you know, if they're not a good road team, you know, Trey Young plays better at home. I think it was a home game where he had all those points. You know, is he capable of doing that in Cleveland? I, and that my still my response to you is, Kevin, I don't care. I don't mm-hmm. want to face the guy. Why do you want to face Durant when he can kill you with a 50-point game? You know, why do you, you – Why do, LeBron James came to Cleveland a couple of weeks ago and had 40 and beat him. And they're the worst team. You know, they, I mean, they just – if the team has that one guy who can kill you, Cleveland – Without Jared Allen in there for the rim protection, uh, hopefully he's back for the playoffs, but he's been out forever. I mean, you're a totally different team with him. Right, right. that's what I'm saying. If we have him, I like our chances against anyone. And I've read that he might be coming back, but hasn't come back yet. So, I mean, it's just one of those things where I don't want to – I just made my point. I don't want to face Trey Young. Mm -hmm. Terry, two two teams out of the play-in in the East. Who's coming out of the East right now? Remember, Brooklyn and Cleveland, whoever wins that gets the seventh. And the loser of that game would have to play the winner of Hawks and Hornets for the eight seed. Who's coming out of it? Yeah. Brooklyn. And one more. Uh, so that would mean Cleveland yeah. hosting Cleveland hosting Atlanta or Charlotte. There you go. Oh, well, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I think it's Brooklyn against Atlanta. Okay. So you got Brooklyn and Atlanta coming out. So that if that happened, we'll let, that, we'll go, we'll let Zach look at the, at the matchups. Honestly, though, here's what's bad. If you're either one of these teams, you'd wouldn't you rather be the eight seed than the seven seed? Though, would you rather play Milwaukee or Miami in round one? Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you the truth. I think you would rather play Milwaukee. You think so? Yeah. Then you rather just deal like with Miami's Giannis? total okay. whole t- team. I get it. I do. I do too. I like the I like total their whole team. They're but, tough but, too. Yeah. I mean, they're just a tough. And they're team. gonna play defense. Yeah. The problem they play def- exactly. Yeah. The problem with Brooklyn. And here's the one thing about Kevin Durant. There's always one player, one person. That's your nemesis. Giannis is the one person that can block his shot and ha- and guard and, and and try to stay in front of him and stay with him. He's the one person that can do it. He, to me, might be Zach, um, Elijah Wan's Dave or David Robinson's Elijah Wan. Yeah, to where. Rob, there's nobody in the league that could deal with that, that Robinson couldn't de- guard or deal with, but Elijah Wan still is going to get 30 on him. And, but Dave Robinson's going to put 25 on him, but there's nothing he can do about that. So, so to me, that's the one. I think Durant against Miami, would. I think he would dust them. But ugh, Milwaukee, I think we're going to again, Terry. We keep stepping on the line and shooting threes at buzzer beaters against this team every yeah, time. The, the thing that bothers me about Miami, and when you say, it, well, they're going to step out and shoot threes, what's Miami? Miami's got Robinson. they got Hero. Right. they got Butler. I mean, they got so many guys that can step out there and just fire away. But remember, and, they've been fighting with themselves, too. Well, yeah. they have. <laughs> they don't like the coach. How they don't like they each gonna, other. How mad are they going to get at each other when Durant's got 40 on or Kyrie's got 40 on somebody's head and one of them tells them you play defense and it all blows up? And, and Jimmy Butler has awesome. is, is always been just combustible. You but, know, but anytime again, Terry, he can blow right. up. So, if you're, so, again, if you're, um, say, Cleveland, because they're going to have to play one of these teams as they come out of it, Tom. Who would you rather have, Miami or Milwaukee? We'll ask you. Boston, you're going to be sitting in with Chicago, who doesn't win on the road, Terry. So we'll talk about that in a second real quick. Tom, one more question before we go to Terry with that. <sighs> Miami or Milwaukee, which which matchup do you like better as a Cleveland Cavaliers? If we fan? have Jared Allen, I don't I know. Think I think I can beat Milwaukee with Jared that's Allen. That's what I'm saying. That because they'll have got some, shooters chance you're, not, you're not going to stop. Giannis, but at least you've got somebody to slow him down. Fouling when he gets near the rim, block his right. Shot, you got somebody to way. slow him Make down think a little about bit. It. So without him, I think we stand a better chance with Miami. But it just it just depends who we get back. I have I've read a little bit, and there's rumors that he might come back, but I I I haven't said he's playing. I haven't read anything that said he's playing. Mm-hmm. When is the play-in game? When is it? Do you know? Next week. Sometime. Yeah, because I yeah. think we we only got what one one game left in the season. <laughs> yeah, and I think during uh, during the break, I'm going to look it up to see. Yeah, Charlotte plays tomorrow. I think was their last. I, game. It's meaningless. Well, I don't. Yeah, it's meaningless because we're still nine ten. 
We can get to eight. If you Cleveland think we loses, can? If Cleveland and Atlanta loses. But we can, do they have the tiebreaker over? I don't know. Question. If all of them lose, we can get seven. They're only one game apart. I don't know the tiebreakers at all scenarios. So every, it seems like everybody probably needs to to try to win today. Thomas, what was the last thing you just asked me a second ago? When was the play? What, what yeah, day? I'll pull that up real quick. Um, Terry, uh, Bulls and Celtics. How you feel about that matchup with Chicago right now? Mm. Um, you're one game problem. out. You're half game out of four, so could be Toronto. Uh, either one of them. I don't. I don't. Before the season, I thought Chicago would have the best depth. They've played like crap on the road but, at home. They're twenty seven fourteen. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about Chicago. They. They're. I mean, how many times have they beat the elite team? Well, I told you last week they were zero and. Um, so I mean, I just don't think they can play anybody that's above against them. the top three seeds. I mean, that's just me. I don't Took a think they and I don't think Ball's played uh, much for him lately. Uh, I think he's been out. So, Tom, the uh, the play-ins begin Tuesday. So, we'll have play-in basketball Tuesday night. Already, Clippers and Timberwolves scheduled 9.30 p.m. Tuesday night. They don't have, of course, the Eastern Conference uh, set up and scheduled for that. Philly in, is in the fourth seed. All right, Zach, coming out of the East, who got in the Eastern Conference Finals right now? Eastern Conference Finals. Let's go with ugh. Milwaukee. Since we don't know where the matchups, give me your two best teams in the East. I guess right that you think could make the finals. Gonna, if nobody's I, in front of Boston them. Has, has played well. I hate to. I, I, I'm gonna say Milwaukee and Boston. Terry, uh, Miami and Boston. Tommy. I'd have to go Miami and the Bucks. I think. Brooklyn and New York are your best shots to get there from my from me. All right, JP, are Brooklyn you ready? And, Brooklyn and who? Brooklyn yeah. and New York. New York. Not, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you said New York. You said New York. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn, you said Brooklyn and New York. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was just thinking Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn in New York. How about that? Is that better? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll save myself with that. <laughs> Tom, can we not turn that radio? Well, I'm oh, trying right. to look here to see. <laughs> If Jared Allen's coming back, I'm trying. I haven't read it in a few days. JP, how's that biscuit on you this morning? Good. It was good. It was good. It was good. All right, buddy. Let's take a break. We'll come back. Oh, real quick, JP, give me two seconds. Uh, here's your <coughs> trade uh, possible option for the Hornets: uh, Westbrook for Hayward, PJ Washington, Hayward Plumley. Uh, you would hope not to give up Rozier if you didn't have to, but they kind of play the same position as him if he'd come off the bench. But that that would be kind of something like that. Or like I said, if you take it off. And you wanted to do Rozier, that's at 47. We can try and see if, yeah, okay, so that matches up under cap, cap wise. So there's your Hayward and Terry Rozier for Russell Westbrook trade, possibly for the Hornets next year. It's weird that that comes out like like this in a part of the season, Terry, you can't even make a trade or, or do anything. Mm. Isn't it? Is that just, is that LA? Because again, real quick, is that not LA possibly just blowing smoke to their fans and stuff? Because that's, I'm not sure about that. You know, Hayward can shoot, and that's what LeBron needs. But why would why would Charlotte be like? You know what? We'll give up two scores for Russell Westbrook, <laughs> unless they're wanting to get us out of the money. You're yeah, right. You're 100 right. All right, guys.